Hey everybody, so it's time for NHL Picks of the Week where I try and pick the winner of five games of my choosing in the upcoming week in the NHL. Before we get into the video, I just quickly want to remind everyone to please hit that like button and give this video a thumbs up. That greatly helps out the channel. And if you're new to the channel or not yet subscribed for any reason, please hit that subscribe button So we are pushing towards 1,000 subscribers here at Off The Wall Hockey. So um, last week, now I'm recording this on Saturday night um, when one game from my picks from last week has not ended yet. It's currently tied 3-3, to New Jersey and Carolina. Um, so far, my picks from last week are 3-1. and one. I've got three wins and one loss, and we'll see how the Carolina-New Jersey game turns out. Uh, bringing my total record now to 15-7, and seven, and by the end of tonight, that will either be 16-7 and seven or 15-8, and eight. but I have to record this video a night early. Normally, I do these day of, but I have to record it a night early because I am very busy tomorrow and won't have time to do it. So let's get into this coming week's picks. Um, November 3rd, uh, Sunday, November 3rd, which is the day that you'll all get to actually see this tomorrow, um, all the way through Saturday, November 9th. Let's get into the picks here. So my first two picks come from Tuesday, 11-5, November 5th. Uh, I have the New York Islanders defeating the Ottawa Senators. Uh, New York, the Islanders are on an absolute roll right now. Uh, if they win tonight, again, that game's still going. But if they win tonight over Buffalo, their win streak, I believe, would be now eight games. I'm not entirely sure off the top of my head, but they are pushing close to a 10-game win streak. Um, not quite there yet, and they are still playing right now. But uh, no, no matter what they do tonight, this team is absolutely rolling right now. And if they do go into this game on Tuesday with a win streak, I don't think it's going to be the Ottawa Senators, the worst team in the league, who breaks the Islanders' winning streak. So I definitely think that the Islanders defeat the Senators on Tuesday night. Also on Tuesday night, the Toronto Maple Leafs over the LA Kings. Uh, Toronto is at home that night. I don't. Toronto is not off to a great start. Um, they've been pretty mediocre out of the gate. There's no doubt about that. I don't see any way that the LA Kings go into Toronto and outscore the Maple Leafs. I just don't see it happening. Uh, I think Toronto wins that game handily, as the Kings have been a little bit better than I expected so far this season, but they are certainly still not a good team. So moving on, my next pick comes from Thursday night on uh, November 7th. I have San Jose over the Minnesota Wild. Now, San Jose obviously has really been disappointing to start this season. Um, not what you were looking for if you were a Sharks fan. I've got to think that a team with that much talent and that many great players is going to turn it around. And what better way to start turning it around than beating up on a division-worse Minnesota Wild in the Central who have quite honestly looked like pure garbage to start this season. I mean, their year is already over. Their, their team is in rough shape right now. Um, I got to believe that San Jose gets a win against a much lesser opponent in Minnesota, and hopefully that will help them turn things around and kickstart their season to head back in the right direction. My next pick comes from uh, Friday night, the 8th, Boston over Detroit. And this is just simply Detroit has really, really struggled to start this year. They're one of the worst teams in the East. They cannot find a way to win a game. Uh, while Boston, on the other hand, is one of the top teams in the East, one of the top teams in the league, off to an incredible start, um, I got to believe that Boston wins that game over the Red Wings. It's just there's such a huge discrepancy in how good the Bruins are and how good the Red Wings are. Boston's just miles ahead of Detroit right now. And lastly, Saturday night, I have Colorado over the Columbus Blue Jackets. That game is in Colorado. I don't see the Avalanche losing that game at home. Columbus is kind of one of those middle-of-the-road 500 teams. Um, I, I don't see them going into Colorado and winning that game. Yes, Colorado are down some big players due to injury right now, but they're still one of the top teams out west. They've got a dynamic offense. They're, they're, I mean, they're one of the best teams in the NHL, honestly, and all the hype surrounding them this year seems to be real, and, and they're living up to it. They're off to a great start. I don't see them dropping a game to the Blue Jackets at home like that. So, um, those are my five picks for next week. New York over the Ottawa Senators on uh, the 5th, Toronto over LA on the 5th, 
San Jose over Minnesota on the 7th, Boston over Detroit on the 8th, and Colorado over Columbus on the 9th. We'll see how we do, see if I can keep a, this winning record going so far. A little shaky start to the year with these picks, but I the last few weeks have gone pretty well, and um, we're starting to get a good distance here between the number of wins and the number of losses, and I'm happy to see that, so hopefully my picks continue to work out. And uh, I continue to pick winners correctly. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.